it's that time of the year where I get a whole bunch of new books and I love it. So my birthday is in December and we celebrate Christmas and I signed up for a few like secret Santa book swaps on Instagram and Litzy. So I have some books. I'm going to show you guys my unhaul. The first one is Luminous by Mara Rutherford. This book I have been so excited to get. I got this in one of the swaps I did on Litzy. And I've read other books by this author. She does YA fantasy. But look how gorgeous that naked cover is. I love it when books have this feature. So I've read other books by this author. So she has been on my list. I was thrilled to get this in that book exchange. Okay. Next. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. So confession, I bought this one for myself. I got it on Thrift Books. If you haven't used that, that app, that website, you should check it out. They have used books for really good prices. Sometimes it's library copies. Sometimes it's pretty banged up. Sometimes it's not. I've gotten just signed copies off of there. Their customer service is really good, so if you get a book that is really messed up, they're good about fixing it or sending you a replacement. But I love them because if you spend $10, you get free shipping. So that's really not that hard to do. They sent a Christmas coupon out, and it was um, a free book. So I got a free book and a couple more. But I had to get this one because I listened to it on audio a few years ago. And I loved it and knew that I needed a copy for my library. So that was one that I bought myself. This one I am so excited for. Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr. My best friend Kelly bought this for me for my birthday. She read an arc of it and really enjoyed it. And I told her that I read his previous book, which is All the Light we cannot see. And so this is historical fiction. I think this is going to be one of my January reads. I'm pretty sure. Um, I am so excited to get to this one and it's just absolutely beautiful. You see I have a habit of tending to look under the jacket. Oh look at those gold end papers. This book is just beautiful. So I'm really excited to read that one and that I got that one on the shelf. All right, Eleanor Olympiant is completely fine. So this book I read again a couple years ago um, and this is one that I bought for myself as well. I actually bought this one off Pango Books. It's a new app where you can list books that you have for sale and you can buy books from other people too. I just joined that app this month and um, after you join the next day, they sent me a $5 off coupon to use, so I shopped and bought this book. And I have to say, I really recommend the app so far. I've, like I said, I've only been using it for a few weeks, but I've sold four books, and then I've taken that money to buy books that I, I want in my library. So I loved this book, so I will probably reread this sometime in the next year, but I needed a copy for my library. Next up, so this book I got in one of my Litzy swaps. I have never heard of it before um, and it sounds hilarious. So the title is The Utterly Uninteresting and Unadventurous Tales of Fred, the Vampire Accountant. I'm not usually a huge fan of vampire books, but somehow I always end up reading them. Um, <laughs> but this one sounds like a bit of a comedy so I am definitely gonna read it so the swap that I did this one for it was called the best of 2021 swap and each person was supposed to send a book that they loved that they read this year so it didn't really take my prefer reading preferences into account it was just 
a book that they loved. So they loved this one and I will 100% read it. Right. This one I got in the winter solstice swap that I did on Litzy. And this book was on my wish list. I'm so happy I got it. So it's Great Goddesses, Life Lessons from Myths and Monsters by Nikita Gill. So she writes a lot of poetry. I've read a few of her other books. Got it. There's one that's a novel in verse that I've read called Goddess Divine. Absolutely adored it. I really like her writing style. A lot of her books include Hindu mythology. I think this one is um, Greek mythology. I really love her writing style as a poet and her books are just absolutely gorgeous. This one has a few illustrations in it too, which she's kind of known to include those, but I can't wait to read that one. All right, the next book I got, this one was included in one of the Litzy swaps as well. And this one's been on my to be read for a while. And I remember when it first came out, seeing it everywhere, and then it's kind of died down. And honestly, I had forgotten about it until I opened it and I saw the cover and I was like, yes, I wanted to read that. So it's set in the 1940s and it's a historical fiction novel. So I don't read a, a lot of historical fiction, or I guess I should say it's not my most read genre. So I read mostly fantasy, but I do tend to enjoy to sprinkle in other genres and historical fiction is one of those that I didn't read as much this year as I wish I had. So I'm excited to have this on my shelf to read in the coming year. I am so excited about this one. So Victoria Schwab, I have developed the biggest crush on her as an author this past year. So the first book I read of hers was The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue absolutely loved it and I have been working on her backlog ever since. I'm about to finish up her City of Ghosts trilogy. Um, I read The Near Witch recently and I have the first book which is, um, oh I just forgot what is the first book called? A Darker Shade of Magic. So this is part of a trilogy. This is the second book in a trilogy. So I have the first book, A Darker Shade of Magic, which I plan to start really soon. And I was happy to get the second one. So that way I can jump right into this one when I finish the first one. So now I just need to get my hands on the third one and I'll have the complete series. All right, this is a graphic novel that I got from my family. Um, I think my husband is the one that got this book for me for Christmas. It was on my wish list. It's a graphic novel that I've heard very little about, but it looks so cute. It has these little ghosts. Um, it's, a, it's a black and white color scheme, which I feel like fits really well for a ghost story. Um, I think it's gonna be really cute. I have recently gotten into a new obsession with ghosts. Started around Halloween, and I think ghosts are like the cutest little thing. They've been coming up in more of the books that I've been reading too, so I saw this one and had it on my wish list. My husband picked it up for me, so I can't wait to read that one. So I got this book from my co-host of my book club on Instagram, Chi. So we have Live with Coco and Chi book club that's on Instagram every month, and so I hosted a book swap for our book club members. It was called Yola Boca Flod Swap. And that is an Icelandic Christmas tradition where you exchange chocolate and a book on Christmas Eve. Um, it has a really, really interesting history if you look it up about how, um, how it's one of the biggest revenue drives for Christmas. And it's, I think it translates loosely to the Christmas book flood. But anyway, so um, we did like a secret swap kind of thing where you shop for one person and you got them chocolates and a book and it kind of went around like that and we opened it on Christmas Eve. So anyways, um, Chi is the one that shopped for me and she got me this book, which is the third book in this series. There's four books total, but the first book is called Wolf Song 
And um, this is the third book, and it's by T.J. Klune. I absolutely love these. And uh, it's romance, it's queer, and it's very, very magical. Did I mention it has wolves in it? Uh, wolves and witches, and it is so good. It will definitely tug on your heartstrings and have you feeling all the angst. Um, they are adult, adult fantasy. But anyways, I've read the first two and I need to finish it out. So I was tickled when she bought this one for me so I can continue that series. Next is Fresh and my youngest son got this book for me for Christmas and I am so excited. So I love Margot Wood. I've seen her in different author panels that I've watched and Back in November, I went to Y'all Fest, and she was there on a panel, and she was talking about this book. And she is just one of the most interesting people to hear talk about story. Um, so this, I think, I think it's her debut, or it's her debut young adult novel. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the first book that I've read of hers, or I haven't read it yet, the first book of hers I'm going to read. I love it because she has ADHD and she wanted to write a main character that had ADHD and do it in a way that kind of allowed the reader to step inside their brain and how they process. And so one of the cool features about this book, see if I can open up to the page, she talked about this at the panel and I thought it was really neat, was, I don't know if you can see right here, but it's, she has footnotes. So randomly throughout the book, you have footnotes that provide additional insight into how the main character's brain kind of works and bounces around. I love the end pages too, look at that. So cute. I also just love the design. I'm a really big fan of these uh, heart covers that are starting to print the covers directly on instead of having the loose dust jacket. I really love it. It does leave fingerprints a little bit, but I'm a huge fan of that whole design concept. I'm very excited to read this one. Like I said, I'm always intrigued when a book has a new format or something that just kind of makes it quirky and unique in itself. And after hearing her talk about it, I knew that I had to have it. So I was so excited when I unwrapped this. The last book, this one I got from my oldest son. He picked it out, which I'm not surprised because he loves graphic novels. Um, this one's really heavy. I have seen this one everywhere. It's a Hades and Persephone story from what I know. The, the colors are so vibrant and gorgeous. Apparently the, uh, they said this was hard to find. I guess it was sold out everywhere, but it's, it's a graphic novel and it takes place with Hades and Persephone. I'm not sure, but I, this is probably gonna be one of the first books I read um, in January. I'm just, I keep getting drawn to it and fresh. They kind of, they kind of complement each other a bunch too. But yeah, so that is my holiday unhaul. I got so many books and it's just gonna set me up to really have a fantastic start of the year reading and I can't wait. So let me know what books did you get? Are any of these on your to be read or have you read them and loved them? Let me know.